I ended up going to two out of town sales today that looked like they had neat stuff and it turned out they did. Okay, so first of all, before we get started, we got these two giant paintings and they kind of look like something that would be in like dark shadows, like some sort of 60s vampire princess painting. Both Mary Joy and I got one and oddly enough, we both liked the opposite ones, which is why we got both. Here's the one that I liked, and then here's the one that she liked, which, I mean, I like it too. I'm just saying she was drawn to this one and I liked the other one, but it looks like some 60s, like late night horror movie, sort of vampire woman thing. That would be the title of the movie, of course. So these are super cool. So we went to two different areas that were about, both of them were about maybe 30, 40 minutes away. And the first one was actually just a garage sale, but it was on a farmhouse and they had two garages and everything was garage sale prices, which was awesome. As we're looking around the garage sale, it's like, ah, oh, there's a few things here, but I saw pictures online and I'm like, I saw more than this. And then I saw the garage had a basement, which was fantastic to me. It's like, I've never seen a garage and then like the, there's a row of stairs and underneath there's like an entire basement down there. But it was a neat place, they were super nice and they had a thing in the basement where they had all the books and the shelves. They had a bunch of paper bags down there and they said fill up a bag for $5 for books. So that's what we did. And they had a lot of really cool books. I'm just gonna pull out a couple here. Most of my haul today is books, by the way. First of all, there's actually a small Garfield puzzle in here. They had a real, real weird selection of books like Transformers and Beware of the Supernatural. This really cool illustrated joke book from the 60s. A couple of uh, weekly reader books, which always have great illustrations in them. They had quite a few like teenage detective stories, uh, like based directly at teenagers, but also they were like hard-boiled detectives. I don't know, it was, it was a thing when I was growing up. I don't know why, but a bunch more books, a lot of stuff like nursery rhymes with illustrations and books about cats, things like that. So a whole bag with that type of stuff. They also had stuff like this old tab cup, which was, or cup, glass? Yeah, it's glass, but it's an hourglass because tab was supposed to be the diet drink and this is supposed to be like you losing weight in the middle. Merry Christmas metal tray that had this cute little Santa, you know, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus on it. Then we drove 40 minutes away to another town to an estate sale uh, that was in a house that again was also laid out very big. You go down into the basement and there was a stairwell that also went up to the garage on the other side of the basement. It was much larger than I thought it would be. You got a uh, bag of, of stuffed toys. These doll head ones had a few of these before. I forget what they're called but uh, we've had some before and it looks weird that I'm grabbing them by the neck. The thing I was most excited about was this, a like hanging beer light lamp. I think it's a lamp, but it's for Blatt's. I didn't have a chance to test it out, but they say it works. It's lights got, it said it lights up and spins. Oh, it's got a rotating. So it's got a spinner inside here, like a motor. And it says, smile, you've got a Blatt's beer coming. The hardiest of the light. Wait, Blatt's is a light beer? Then have one that actually attaches to the wall here, has a switch on the back, and this light is for Budweiser. So lights up, uh, little lamp, wall attachment. Budweiser, that one. Got a stuffed lady in the tramp, lady doll. Lady doll, that seems weird. A 7-Up Uncola, where they did the thing like it's not like any other cola, so they made an upside down glass, because normally the glasses were this way. Cassette and books of the original Sesame Street cast. Uh, just all kinds of golden books in here. And there's a couple of 45s as well. All children's stuff. Then as we were driving through town, we saw an antique shop that I swear we had been at before, but I don't think we had. They also had a, uh, a record store but like classic vinyl, like collecting vinyl records. I was thinking like, oh, we're gonna come back to this place now that I know it's here. And uh, I did get a few comic books and stuff. Little Dot, I like the Harvey type comics and the Bugs Bunny comics. I think I've mentioned this before in some of my videos, but for some reason, these are the type that I like to collect. I don't go for the whole like Superman ones. I have enough of those. I've collected those when I was in my teens and my twenties, but for some reason, the ones from when I was a child, I really like. 
and then the other thing that we got from the antique store and they were nice enough to wrap it up for us so this is filled with a bunch of frame tray puzzles illustrated frame tray puzzles you can see one right there but i don't want to take them out of the box right yet that's some of the exciting stuff that i got today